Welcome back to Whisper Gaming ASMR. And if you're new here, I just want to let you know I upload two different versions of all my videos. One with gameplay audio and one without. So check the description to see what version you're watching. We'll check the title to see what version you're watching. And if you'd prefer to watch the other version, I have it linked at the top of my video description. But now that that's out of the way, we will be continuing our journey with the Night Elf Hunter Jasara. I'm currently level 9, so getting very close to getting my first pet. And also this this server seems to be getting more popular. It's been a lot more busy the last couple times I've played. But I have a few priorities for this video. Um, it probably won't be super long. I'm going to try to keep it to around a half an hour. We'll see if that actually happens. It always tends to be longer. But I'm going to do the Road to Darnassus quest. Slay six Gnarl Pine Ambushers. I'm going to see if anything else is near, near that southeast of the entrance to Darnassus, so probably that one. Ravaging to the west. Okay, these might all be in a similar area, but anyway, I want to quest towards Darnassus because I want to go pick up fishing. So that is on my to-do list this video. So let's go see if we can complete a few quests on the way. So gnarl pine ambushers. Where would those be? I'm 
assuming those chests are inside here. I do not like going inside uh, these caves. It always makes me nervous. But I'm not doing hardcore, so I guess it's not that, that big of a deal. I really do need some better weapons, so my weapons suck. guys, I think. Okay, he's got one. Oh no, we got both. Shit. I cannot wait to get a pet. Okay. Oh god, this guy has a name. That's not good. Never good when they have a name.
this is that is that. Excited to start Baldur's Gate 3 though. Uh, it seems like quite the RPG, like it seems like the degree of freedom and things that are possible in it are like very unprecedented. I was watching a video about how much work they've put into it and they got like some of the best voice actors in the industry. Like I think there's a lot of celebrities and stuff. Like, I think I saw J.K. Simmons does a voice in it. Sorry, there's more thunder. I'm getting a lot of, uh, interruptions tonight. But yeah, J.K. Simmons, and they use, like, real motion capture actors and stuff for a lot of the cutscenes, and... It seems like they put a lot of work into it. In Divinity Original Sin, you had a lot of freedom to do things as well. I think that might be the well over there, unless it's this body of water right here. No, it is not. But I'm planning on playing the game as a bard, I think. Since I've been so into music lately, I kind of want to roleplay as that. I was playing as a... Uh, initially... I was gonna play as a forest, forest gnome, a female forest gnome, and I might still, but the, I just watched a guide, and it seems like a halfling would be a better choice, and they look basically the same. Um, mostly the reason I picked the forest gnome is they have an ability where they can talk to animals, which I always think is cool, which the half the halfling does not get that, but they get a, a bunch of other stuff that's useful, I guess. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet, but I think a bard will be cool. Apparently it's like one of the most versatile classes. It's kind of a jack of all trades, which is right up my alley. And then playing with music is just kind of another, another plus. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe this is the area that has. Has the talismans. Let me look. To the west, journey to the den. supposed to be though. Those that wander well spring lake. Okay, never mind, that's a different part. Okay, we can turn in these two quests and go get our fishing stuff. And then after that maybe we'll just uh if there's any time left I'll just farm some mobs and see if I can get closer to level 10. But I think in the next video, I should be at the point, I should, by the end of the next video after this, I should definitely hit level 10 and can start the quest line to get my first pet. Which that will completely change how this character plays. Then I need to start getting food to feed my pet. Okay, let's have 
ask the guard where the fishing trainer is. No. We need the profession trainer. Fishing. Why don't you see her in the tradesman terrace? Okay, nice net marks on the map for you. on on here or not. Um but I don't know, I kinda want to ramble about building up this channel. And uh I don't know, just having some self doubts that'll ever grow to be anything because there's already so many gaming YouTube channels out there and so many ASMR channels out there. And, uh, I mean, I am very grateful. I'm already almost at 150 subscribers when I'm recording this, which is the last day of April. Hopefully by the time I upload this, since it'll be probably close to a month later, I hope I've already hit 150, which is, which is growing faster than I initially expected. I thought it would take a lot longer to hit 100 than it did. But it's just... Looking at where I am now and where I want to eventually be... Just seems like a very long path. And, uh... I don't know. Discouraging's not the right word, but it just causes some self-doubt. Part of me thinks that I'll never get there. I plan to be consistent, and I know it's going to take a long time. This is a marathon. But, I don't know. I just don't know if... I feel like I'm not doing anything different enough to stand out, and I don't know what I can do to really set myself apart. So, I do have faith that with time I'll figure it out. I want to stay positive, but I don't know, 
might be relatable to someone out there. I feel the same way about my music and my photography and all the other things I do, too. Just being so early in the journey, I feel like it's easy to be filled with doubt. But, I don't know, when I start these things, I say that it'll probably take 10 years to get to where I want to go. And who knows if I'll even be there at that point. But at the very least, uh, if you're working on some type of project or have some type of dream that you're working on, I, uh, I hope that you know you're not alone. And that I think this is a feeling a lot of people deal with. And uh, even if you have doubts, you just gotta keep going. You gotta fake it till you make it. And maybe I'm not the best person to be giving this advice because uh, I haven't made it yet. But you really don't have another choice. Giving up on your dream is the only way to know that it'll never happen. And at least if you try for it, it doesn't happen. Uh, you won't have the regrets of not going for it. Uh, now I'm feeling like I'm giving very generic very generic advice that's been said a million times, but I don't know. I'm just rambling. I'm also kind of worried. I feel like my whispers are extra quiet tonight. I hope that these, uh, I hope that they're loud enough for you. That's another thing. I worry about the audio quality and if I should make these louder or quieter. Like, I'm always like, if I make them louder, people can at least turn them down. So that kind of gives you more of the choice. But, um, then I worry about making them too loud because I'm sure some people, like, listen to playlists and stuff like that. Like, I have an ASMR playlist set up. It's hard when you have a video, like, you have a video's really quiet. So you have the volume cranked up. And then the next video is really loud, and then it goes to loud, and I just don't want to have a really loud video that ends up waking someone up. Because that's the opposite of why I'm making these videos. Okay, so I'm going to turn Archimedes. Who's Archimedes? Oh, is that this person's pet? Okay, I'm gonna turn in these quests. Please tell me this person. Okay, he's in Dolinar's like if he was in Darnassus and I had to turn back, I'd be very upset. Okay, we got fishing. And we completed two of the four quests we have assigned. the last guy. 
in here, but it's on a trap. Okay, he's down there. By the well, of course. At first, the reports of Gray's verbal attacks were dismissed. Who could have thought that the peace-loving bear men would turn to mindless rage? Yet another of the problems that plague us here in our new home. Shondo's storm rage never returned, and the druids were in disarray. And to this day, we still do not know what became of him. With Malfurion missing, Archdruid Vandral Stagelm took over the leadership of the druids, convincing the Circle of Ancients in Darkshore that it was time for our people to rebuild, and that it was time for our people to regain their immortality. With the approval of the Circle of Stagelm and the most powerful druid's crew, Teltrossel, the New World Tree. All was not well with Teltrossel, however. Stagelm's carefully made plans for the New World Tree had borne out as he had hoped, but there is one small problem, a problem to which many of the troubles on Teltrassel may be attributed to. However, I will not get into that yet. You must visit the last moon well to the northwest in the Oracle Glade under the burrows. Under the boughs of the Oracle Tree lies the first and most powerful of our wells. Retrieve a vial of its water and return to me. What did he, like, I don't understand what he's doing with this water. Why does he need this water to tell me the story I don't understand? Okay, nice. Well, now my rested XP will take me into level 10. So, on the next one... Oh, these are level 6. It's not even worth killing them. On the next episode, we'll definitely go out at level 10. Yeah, this video is kind of short. Maybe I can find a few mobs to kill quickly. Is there anything that's like level level six? It's like barely worth it. If I'm gonna kill something, it should at least be a knight, a stalker, or whatever, something I can skin. But now all I'm seeing are owls and spiders. There's one, a knight saber, not a knight stalker.
sure as soon as I buy those weapons, I'll end up getting better ones at drop or from a quest or something. Nice, I can cook up those spider legs. Okay, where is this lightsaber? There you are, level 5. Barely getting any experience from you guys. understood what that icon is for skinning. Is that like a hide being peeled off or what? I need to look at it again. Maybe I'll get one more Night Stalker. Night Saber. I don't know why I keep calling them Night Stalkers. Any more Night Sabers? I really think you should be able to skin the owls. No, nope. does not look like there's any night sabers over here. Guess I'll cook up my spider legs. Good night and goodbye.